Cotswolds. The Cotswolds is an area in south central England containing the Cotswold Hills, a range of rolling hills which rise from the meadows of the Upper Thamestow and Escarpment, known as the Cotswold Edge, above the Severn Valley and Evesham Vale. The area is defined by the bedrock of Jurassic limestone that creates a type of grassland habitat rare in the UK and that is quarried for the golden colored Cotswold stone. It contains unique features derived from the use of this mineral. The predominantly rural landscape contains stone-built villages, historical towns and stately homes and gardens. It's designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty, AONB. In 1966, the Cotswolds covers and is the second largest protected landscape in England, second to the Lake District, and the largest beyond. Its boundaries are roughly across and long, stretching southwest from just south of Stratford-upon-Avon to just south of Bath. It lies across the boundaries of several English counties, mainly Gloucestershire and Oxfordshire, and parts of Wiltshire, Somerset, Worcestershire, and Warwickshire. The highest point of the region is Cleve Hill at, just to the east of Cheltenham. The hills give their name to the Cotswold Local Government District, formed on April 1, 1974, which administers over half of the area. Most of the district is in the county of Gloucestershire. Some 80% of it is within the Cotswold area of outstanding natural beauty. The main town is Sirencester, and the Cotswold District Council offices are located in that community. The population of the 450 square miles district, primarily in Gloucestershire, was about 83,000 in 2011. The much larger area referred to as the Cotswolds encompasses nearly 800 square miles, over five counties Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire, Warwickshire, Wiltshire, and Worcestershire. The population of this area of outstanding natural beauty was 139,000 in 2016. There is evidence of Neolithic settlement from burial chambers on Cotswold Edge, and there are remains of Bronze and Iron Age forts. Later, the Romans built villas, such as at Chedworth, settlements such as Gloucester, and paved the Celtic path later known as Fosse Way. During the Middle Ages, thanks to the breed of sheep known as the Cotswold Lion, the Cotswolds became prosperous from the wool trade with the continent, with much of the money made from wool directed towards the building of churches. The most successful era for the wool trade was 1250 to 1350, much of the wool at that time was sold to Italian merchants. The area still preserves numerous large, handsome Cotswold stone wool churches. The affluent area in the 21st century has attracted wealthy Londoners and others who own second homes there or have chosen to retire to the Cotswold. The name Cotswold is popularly attributed the meaning sheep enclosure and rolling hillsides, incorporating the term, wold, meaning hills. Compare also the weald from the Saxon slash German word vault meaning forest. However, the English Place Name Society has for many years accepted that term Cotswold is derived from cot assault of the 12th century or other variations on this form, the etymology of which was given, Cotswold, which is Cod's high open land. Cod was interpreted as an Old English personal name, which may be recognized in further names, Cutstian, Codeswellen, and Codesprig, some of which date back to the 8th century AD. It has subsequently been noticed that Cod could derive philologically from a Britannic female cognate Cuda, a hypothetical mother goddess in Celtic mythology postulated to have been worshipped in the Cotswold region. The spine of the Cotswolds runs southwest and northeast through six counties, particularly Gloucestershire, West Oxfordshire and southwestern Warwickshire. The northern and western edges of the Cotswolds are marked by steep escarpments down to the Severn Valley and the Warwickshire Avon. This feature, known as the Cotswold Escarpment, or sometimes the Cotswold Edge, is a result of the uplifting, tilting, of the limestone layer, exposing its broken edge. This is a cuesta, in geological terms. The dip slope is to the southeast. On the eastern boundary lies the city of Oxford and on the west is Stroud. To the southeast, the upper reaches of the Thames Valley and towns such as Latchlade, Tetbury and Fairford are often considered to mark the limit of this region. To the south the Cotswolds, with the characteristic uplift of the Cotswold Edge, reach beyond Bath, and towns such as Chipping Sodbury and Marshfield share elements of Cotswold character. The area is characterized by attractive small towns and villages built of the underlying Cotswold stone, a yellow oolitic limestone. This limestone is rich in fossils, particularly of fossilized sea urchins. Cotswold towns include Borden on the Water, Broadway, Burford, Chipping Norton, Cricklade, Dursley, Malmesbury, Moraton and Marsh, Nailsworth, Northleach, Stowe on the Wold, Stroud, and Winchcombe. Bath, Cheltenham, Sirencester, Gloucester, 
Stroud and Swindon are larger urban centres that border on, or are virtually surrounded by, the Cotswold Aon. The town of Chipping Camden is notable for being the home of the arts and crafts movement, founded by William Morris at the end of the 19th and beginning off the 20th centuries. William Morris lived occasionally in Broadway Tower, a folly, now part of a country park. Chipping Camden also is known for the annual Cotswold Olympic Games, a celebration of sports and games dating back to the early 17th century. The nearly 800 square miles of the Cotswolds, roughly 80% farmlands, contains over 3,000 miles of footpaths and bridleways. There are also 4,000 miles of historic stone walls. Tourism is a significant part of the economy. The Cotswold district area alone gained over £373 million from visitor spending on accommodation, £157 million on local attractions and entertainments, and about £100 million on travel in 2016. In the larger Cotswolds tourism area, including Stroud, Cheltenham, Gloucester, and Tewkesbury, tourism generated about £1 billion in 2016, providing 200,000 jobs. Some 38 million day visits were made to the Cotswold tourism area that year. A 2017 report on employment within the area of outstanding natural beauty, stated that the main sources of income were real estate, renting and business activities, manufacturing and wholesale and retail trade repairs. Some 44% of residents were employed in these sectors. Agriculture is also important. Some 86% of the land in the Aonp is used for this purpose. The primary crops include barley, beans, oilseed rape and wheat, while the raising of sheep is also important, cows and pigs are also reared. The livestock sector has been declining since 2002, however. According to the 2011 census data for the Cotswolds, the wholesale and retail trade was the largest employer, 15.8% of the workforce, followed by education, 9.7%, and health and social work, 9.3%. The report also indicates that a relatively higher proportion of residents were working in agriculture, forestry and fishing, accommodation and food services as well as in and professional, scientific and technical activities. Unemployment in the Cotswold district was among the lowest in the country. A report in August 2017, showed only 315 unemployed persons, a slight decrease of 5 from a year earlier. In August 2018, the final decision was made for a local plan that would lead to the building of nearly 7,000 additional homes by 2031, in addition to over 3,000 already built. Areas for development include Sirencester, Borden on the Water, Down Ampney, Fairford, Kemble, Letchlade, North Leach, South Cerny, Stow on the Wold, Tetbury, and Moreton in Marsh. Some of the money received from developers will be earmarked for new infrastructure to support the increasing population. Many travel guides direct tourists to Chipping Camden, Stowe on the Wold, Borden on the Water Broadway, Worcestershire, Bybury, and Stanton. Some of these locations can be very crowded at times. Roughly 300,000 people visit Borden, per year, for example, with about half staying for a day or less. A report in Cotswold Life magazine, however, March 2018, named only two of those villages as among the prettiest places for tourists to visit. Cotswold Stone is a yellow oolitic Jurassic limestone. This limestone is rich in fossils, particularly of fossilized sea urchins. When weathered, the color of buildings made or faced with this stone is often described as honey or golden. The stone varies in color from north to south, being honey colored in the north and northeast of the region, as shown in Cotswold villages such as Stanton and Broadway, golden colored in the central and southern areas, as shown in Dursley and Sirencester and pearly white and bath. The rock outcrops at places on the Cotswold edge, small quarries are common. The exposures are rarely sufficiently compact to be good for rock climbing, but an exception is Castle Rock, on Cleve Hill, near Cheltenham. Due to the rapid expansion of the Cotswolds in order for nearby areas to capitalize on increased house prices, well-known ironstone villages, such as Hook Norton, have even been claimed by some to be in the Cotswolds despite lacking key features of Cotswolds villages such as Cotswold stone and are instead built using a deep red-slash-orange ironstone, known locally as Horton Stone. The Cotswolds were designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty, AONB, in 1966, with an expansion on December 21, 1992. In 1991, all aons were measured again using modern methods. The official area of the Cotswolds Aon was increased to. In 2000, 
the government confirmed that Ayans had the same landscape quality and status as national parks. The Cotswolds Ayans, which is the largest in England and Wales, stretches from the border regions of South Warwickshire and Worcestershire, through West Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire, and takes in parts of Wiltshire, Bath, and Northeast Somerset in the south. Gloucestershire County Council is responsible for 63% of the Ayans. In the summer of 2018, the final draft of the Cotswolds Aon Management Plan 2018 to 2023 was out for consultation. The final text should be written after August 14, 2018. The Cotswolds Conservation Board has the task of conserving and enhancing the Aon. Established under statute in 2004 as an independent public body, the board carries out a range of work from securing funding for on the ground conservation projects to providing a strategic overview of the area for key decision makers such as planning officials. The board is funded by Natural England and the 17 local authorities that are covered by the Aon. The landscape of the Aon is varied, including escarpment outliers, escarpments, rolling hills and valleys, enclosed limestone valleys, settled valleys, ironstone hills and valleys, high wolds and high wold valleys, high wold dip slopes, dip slope lowland and valleys, a low limestone plateau, corn brash lowlands, farmed slopes a broad floodplain valley, a large pastoral lowland vale, a etilled unwooded vale and an unwooded vale. While the beauty of the Cotswolds Aon is intertwined with that of the villages that seem almost to grow out of the landscape, the Cotswolds were primarily designated an area of outstanding natural beauty for the rare limestone grassland habitats as well as the old-growth beech woodlands that typify the area. These habitat areas are also the last refuge for many other flora and fauna with some so endangered that they are protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. Cleve Hill, and its associated commons, is a fine example of a limestone grassland and it is one of the few locations where the Duke of Burgundy butterfly may still be found in abundance. A June 2018 report stated that the Aon receives 23 million visitors a year, the third largest of any protected landscape. Earlier that year, Environment Secretary Michael Gove announced that a panel would be formed to consider making some of the Aeons into national parks. The review will file its report in 2019. In April 2018, the Cotswolds Conservation Board had written to Natural England requesting that consideration be given to a making the Cotswolds a national park, according to Liz Eyre, chairman. This has led to some concern as stated by one member of the Cotswold District Council. National park designation is a significant step further and raises the prospect of key decision-making powers being taken away from democratically elected councillors. In other words, Cotswold District Council would no longer have the authority to grant and refuse housing applications. The uniqueness and value of the Cotswolds is shown in the fact that five European special areas of conservation, three national nature reserves and more than 80 sites of special scientific interest are within the Cotswolds Aon. The Cotswold Voluntary Warden's Service was established in 1968 to help conserve and enhance the area, and now has more than 300 wardens. The Cotswold Way is a long-distance footpath, just over long, running the length of the Aump, mainly on the edge of the Cotswold Escarpment with views over the Severn Valley and the Vale of Evesham. Pictured right is the Garden of Sudley Castle at Winchcombe. The present structure was built in the 15th century and may have been on the site of a 12th-century castle. It is situated north of the spa town of Cheltenham which has much Georgian architecture of some merit. Close by on the A4135 in Beaverston village is the ancient fortress known as Beverston Castle founded in 1229 by Maurice de Gaunt. Within the Cotswold area lies Calcott Manor which can be accessed on the A4135 road from Beaverston and is located some west of Tetbury. The manor house building was established in about 1300 AD by Henry of Kingswood as a tithe barn. Tetbury Market House was built in 1655. During the Middle Ages, Tetbury became an important market for Cotswold wool and yarn. Chavinich House is an Elizabethan era manor house northwest of Tetbury. Of some interest is Chedworth Roman Villa. Recent excavations have revealed more of the structure and mosaics, which are now excellently presented. It is located just off the Roman road known as the Fosse Way, and north of the important town of Carinium da Bunnorum, Sirencester. Sirencester Abbey was founded as an Augustinian monastery in 1117 and Malmesbury Abbey was one of the few English houses with a continual history from the 7th century through to the dissolution of the monasteries. An unusual house in this area is Corwood, a Victorian Gothic house in Stowe on the Wold, Gloucestershire. The grounds, covering, include parkland, fish ponds, paddocks, 
garages, woodlands and seven cottages. Another is Woodchester Mansion, an unfinished, Gothic Revival Mansion house in Woodchester Park near Nymphsfield in Woodchester, Gloucestershire. Newark Park is a great I listed country house of Tudor origins located near the village of Oselworth, Wadden under Edge, Gloucestershire. The house sits in an estate of at the southern end of the Cotswold Escarpment. Of the many manor houses built in the area Alpen Manor is a Tudor grade I listed manor house of the Manor family, situated in the village of Alpen in the Stroud district of Gloucestershire. Moving further north, Broadway Tower is a folly on Broadway Hill, near the village of Broadway, in the English county of Worcestershire. To the south of the Cotswolds is Corsham Court an English country house in a park designed by Capability Brown situated in the town of Corsham, west of Chippenham, Wiltshire. According to users of the worldwide TripAdvisor travel site, the following are among the best attractions in the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds lie between the M5, M40 and M4 motorways. The main A roads through the area are the A46, Bath, Stroud, Cheltenham, the A419, Swindon Sirencester, Stroud, the A429, Sirencester, Stowan the Wold, Moreton and Marsh, and the A40, Oxford, Burford. Cheltenham. These all roughly follow the routes of ancient roads, some laid down by the Romans, such as Erman Way and the Fosse Way. There are local bus services across the area, but some are infrequent. The River Thames flows from the Cotswolds and is navigable from Inglesham and Lechlade on Thames downstream to Oxford. The area is bounded by two major rail routes, in the south by the main Bristol Bath London high speed line, including the South Wales Main Line, and in the west by the Bristol Birmingham Main Line. In addition, the Cotswold Line runs through the Cotswolds from Oxford to Worcester, and the Golden Valley Linney runs from Swindon via Stroud to Gloucester, carrying high-speed and local services. Main Line, high-speed rail services to the big cities run from railway stations such as Bath, Swindon, Oxford, Cheltenham, and Worcester. Main Line trains run by Great Western Railway to London Paddington also are available from Kemble Station near Sirencester, Kingham Station near Stowe on the Wold. Charlbury Station and Moreton and Marsh Station. Additionally, there is the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Railway, a steam heritage railway serving the Cotswolds from Cheltenham Racecourse through Gotherington, Winchcombe and Hales Abbey Halt to Toddington and Laverton. The preserved line is currently being extended to Broadway, with the aim of reaching Honeybourne and making a reconnection with the Cotswold line. The Cotswold region has inspired several notable English composers. In the early 1900s, Herbert Howells and Ivor Gurney used to take long walks together over the hills, and Gurney urged Howells to make the landscape, including the nearby Malvern Hills, the inspiration for his future work. Accepting, in 1916, Howells wrote his first major piece, the piano quartet in A minor, inspired by the magnificent view of the Malverns, he dedicated it to the hill of Chosen, Churchdown, and Ivor Gurney who knows it. Another contemporary of theirs, Gerald Finzi, lived in nearby Painswick. Gustav Holst titled his symphony in F major, Opus 8 H47 The Cotswolds. The composer Ralph von Williams composed his opera Hugh the Drover from 1913 to 1924, which depicts life in a Cotswold village and incorporates local folk melodies. In 1988 the Sixth Symphony, Opus 109, of composer Derek Bourgeois was titled The Cotswold Symphony. The Cotswolds are a popular location for filming scenes for movies and television programs. The film Better Things, 2008, directed by Dwayne Hopkins, is set in a small Cotswold village. The fictional detective Agatha Raisin lives in the fictional village of Carsley in the Cotswolds. The Chipping Norton set are based in the Cotswolds. Other movies filmed in the Cotswolds or nearby, at least in part, include some of the Harry Potter series, Gloucester Cathedral, Bridget Jones's Diary, Film Snowshell, Pride and Prejudice, Cheltenham Town Hall, and Braveheart. Cotswold Farm Park. In 2014, some scenes of the 2016 movie Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass were filmed at the Gloucester Docks just outside the Cotswold District, some scenes for the 2006 movie Amazing Grace were also filmed at the Docks. The television series Father Brown was almost entirely filmed in the Cotswolds. Scenes and buildings in Sudley Castle was often featured in the series. The vicarage in Blockley was used for the main character's residence, while St. Peter and St. Paul Church was the Roman Catholic St. Mary's in the series. Other filming locations included Gooding Power, the former hospital in Moreton in Marsh, the Winchcombe Railway Station, Lower Slaughter, and St. Peter's Church in Upper Slaughter. 
Many exterior shots of village life in the Downton Abbey TV series were filmed in Bampton, Oxfordshire. Other filming locations in that county included Swinbrook, Codges, and Shilton. The city of Bath hosted crews that filmed parts of the movies Vanity Fair, Persuasion, Dracula, and The Duchess. Gloucester, and other places in Gloucestershire, some within the area of natural beauty, have been a popular location for filming period films and television programs over the years. Gloucester Cathedral has been particularly popular. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.